Hello, hello, hello. Today is Monday, January 23, 2023. It's early in the morning for me. Probably not for you, depending on where you live. So this was problem 162. I show you the text again. I'm not going to read it, but this is just for you to remember what the problem was. It's really a simple high school problem. You know the position R, it's a vector, it has an X component, a Y component and a Z component. So you have to calculate the velocity, that means you have to take the first derivative and then you have to calculate at t equals 3 what that velocity is, what the speed is. And then the third question is the acceleration. Well, it is the second derivative of R. So, if you're ready, here comes the solution. So you see the function there again, and then you see the first question, the derivative of V equals dr dt. I'm not going to read all that, I will leave it on for a while so that you can follow closely how you take the first derivative. You end up then with this answer, this is the vector, it has an x component, a y component and a z component. When you substitute at t equals 3, this comes out. Again, a vector. So now, if you put in t equals 3, and you want to know the magnitude of t equals 3, then of course you have to take the square root of the magnitude in the x direction, in the y direction, and in the z direction. Simple, straightforward mass. And you find then 3, 33.3 meters per second. Last problem, last answer to C. A is the derivative of the velocity versus time. Here you see the mass, which is very straightforward. And here you will see then the vector. Notice, it has no x component, <laughs> only a y and a z component. So you substitute in there t equals 3, then a is this vector, and if now you want to know the magnitude of a, you have to take the square root of the x square component, the y square component, and the z square component, there is no x component, the answer is 12.6 meters per second square. Easy problem. And many, many of you have this correct. I would say uh, probably 80%. If this is too difficult for you, it's about time that you brush up on physics. That's all I can say. All right. Enjoy the problem, if you can't do it, learn a little bit more about physics. This is sort of the minimum <laughs> you get in high school.